so last time, damn, I'm only at level four. I'm only at level four. Okay, so last time, uh, Zale and Valerie became full-fledged Solstice Warriors. Uh, I unlock the ability to use floating mana, which powers up my any one of my moves before I take an action, which generates in the air when things are hit physically. We fought a boss that was a little bit of a filter for some people that apparently made some people not want to play this game anymore. We made friends with a weird cloud owl looking person. And now we've gone to start the first leg of our journey where we're supposed to meet a crew that will uh, fare us across the sea to where we need to go to fight the evil monster that can only be hurt during an eclipse. Uh, we don't know when the next eclipse is, but we're apparently on track to get there before it happens. So it'll be interesting to see if there is any like time jumps or anything that uh, gets in our way or strands us for an inordinate amount of time. Uh, also, there was like this teleporting ninja person who was uh, like kind of keeping an eye on us after we uh, got thrown across the sea by a giant golem. Which is an interesting way to travel, I tell you what. Uh, oh, we also uh, gained powers that allow us to change the time of day, any time of day. And although it's talking about like controlling the celestial bodies, like the sun and the moon, the way the game uh, UI seems to suggest it's time travel. It says forward and backwards in a weird in a way that uh, seems to hint at time travel. There are these stones that say that time has eroded them. Though we did just meet a passive party member. Uh, I say that as you can see that they're not on the they're not on the load um, the load preview. I guess the party preview. I guess that's what I want to call it. That she's not on. Well, they, I I don't know what the person's pronouns are. They're not a fighter, they're a traveling historian, and they'll tell us stories based on, like, special items that we find in the world. So we'll really only see them at campfires. Or probably in town. <sighs> it's nice to be seen deep inside. Oh yeah, for sure. That's why the vaginal monologues are so popular. Using a mirror to look up inside you and be like, oh gosh, that's what I am? That's just part of me. Can't believe there's a part of me that I've never looked inside. My girlfriends and loved ones indulging in my transformation surroundings to make me feel nice really hits the good euphoric buttons. I see. Just imagining everyone around you as furries. Alright, let us begin. <sighs> People coming in the stream now are gonna feel real weird <clears throat> if they hadn't been here last night at all, seeing that it's like about to go to 11 hours, but I was asleep for. I don't know how long of that. Four hours at least? I was only, I was playing, I was only sleeping. I really didn't want to stop just because I was sleepy. So I didn't. Especially considering I can't play till next week. So I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna channel that, uh, that 14 year old that's like, ugh. All right, let's just let's just spend all weekend doing this. Okay, I can do more uh, attack to that if I hit it at like how I do it. Uh, an additional or powered up attack. I didn't know I could power that up too.
I've seen people not just compare it to Chrono Trigger, but also like Super Mario, Paper Mario? Is it Paper Mario or uh, Super Mario RPG? I think Super Mario RPG. I believe that boop sound when Garl uh, picks something up is the sound of me having uh, done the thingy correctly. Timed hits, there we go. Yeah, yeah, it's Super Mario RPG. Snack was telling us about it the other day. They even have like a joke in us, like, Oh, you, you better watch out for that guy. He knows about timed hits. Gonna throw a bomb now. Blocked. Get bent. It's not super necessary, but these are resources that I won't have later. Uh, I guess I'll just kill you. Nice. Oh, okay, I need to do that fight to get access. Oh, let's get those. Oh, I see. There we go. I know about timed hits. I'm comparing it to Mario and Luigi RPGs with the command attacks, like the bouncing crescent attack. Mm -mm -mm. Zell and Garo learn the combo skill Solar Rain. Sick. Oh, that's how I look at combos. Sun damage to the hits all enemies. Oh, that's gonna be very useful. Oh, uh, we know some people who are like highly suggestible and have their like brain and head space possible to be molded by other people. I mean, I guess we count as that too, since uh, we have certainly had uh, parts of our headspace shaped by others' this description of them. Oh, I totally thought this was an enemy. Mounds are nice. This is the life. Mounds are nice. Yay! A entity that I would normally fight that doesn't want to kill me. I appreciate that. Alright, I can't go to the... Oh, that's the sleeping dragon. Oh, I can set up camp in the overworld? That's nice to know. Actually, uh, Chained Echoes has some stuff like that too. Like, these great, big, mysterious beasts or, like, entities that, like, almost defy explanation. I mean, they can be explained, but, like... Not completely. Though I guess nothing in even our world can be 
it's playing completely. There's still mysteries to how bodies and cells and atoms work, or can work, until you find something that says that it doesn't, that something that we, is conventional wisdom doesn't, uh, it's just like you thought it does, then you have no choice but to believe what you've been told or what information is available. Possum people. It's good to know that this game has furries. The Elder hasn't returned! Malcolmud will kill us all! Run! No! No! Uh, who are you? Have you come to save us? Well... Of course, they're Solstice Warriors! Garl! It's true, no? We should help if we can. What's the matter? It's Malkmud, the Earth Elemental Wizard. We're just a peaceful little outpost taking care of the mine wind tunnels. Of the mine's wind tunnels. And it's our job and it's our job it is to keep them unobstructed so that the wind can play the melody of the sleep for the sleeper. <gasps> but now Malkman was taken over the mine, so we can't go in anymore. And if the sleeper wakes, it'll be the end of the world! What's more, you clogged the tunnel powering the great elevator's windmill so we can't even go to the bris to ask for help. But this continues, Malkmud's minions will start pouring out of the mines and... 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 <laughs> it's okay, we're here. We're here to help. What happened next? <laughs> the elder went in to try to stop him, but it's been so long. Where's the entrance? Just up there, at the top of the outpost, but Magman is very powerful. Don't worry, we'll find your elder. One evil wizard going down. Oh, what luck! Thank you, thank you! Oh, thank you, Solstice Warriors, I'm so glad. Everyone, stop panicking! Solstice Warriors are here to solve everything! The Elder will return! Malkmon! Malkmon won't kill us all! Yay! 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 I feel like I'm playing with toys. I guess I can see the appeal. I'll let you get on with it then. There's still lots more for me to learn. Stone Mason's Outpost. Okay, so wrong. I thought I was going to meet the pirates first. This is a town, though. I might be able to buy stuff. I'm assuming there's not going to be any sort of uh, ends or anything in this game, because there doesn't need to be. Though they could do it like Final Fantasy XV, which I already think about when I think of this game, considering the whole, like, child, uh, grown-up childhood friends uh party members as like the the core squad nah there's ends too geothermal room that is interesting i was thinking about the fact that i can cook and it would be cool to be able to uh to like cook in a kitchen you know there's another game, another RPG that I've been playing, although I haven't played in a while. Uh, that I haven't been playing on stream. I've been playing it, like, for me first, and then I'll play it for y'all. Um, where, like, there are tavern in combos, or maybe a tavern and an inn separately in town, and you can eat a meal and get buffs uh, to your entire party for a while to the digest, which... Final Fantasy 15 does do, but definitely did not invent. Um, I think the first time we saw a mechanic like that was in The World Ends With You. Um, but when you find like a tavern 
a tavern in combo or like a saloon i guess is just feels like a, a jackpot and it's just like okay first we'll go to the first we'll go to the end part and sleep and you get a little uh a little cutscene of everyone sleeping in bed for a second and then it's like okay now we're done now we're gonna get brunch because we're gay and then you get a little cutscene of everyone at the table eating except for the edgy boy of course uh it's a good game it's a good game damn i really do like turn-based rpgs fuck me if the tunnels keep getting clogged, the wind will stop push it, playing the melody through the mountain. If the sleeper wakes up, we're all doomed! Found one ancient moleskin cloak. Huh. No one in my party can equip this. That's fascinating. Even with all the panic going on, my brother won't come out of his studio. All he does is paint all day long. Mm, we're gonna get some ability to allow us to move or break these rocks. I just know it. Pascaso. Oh, Daro. Reminds me of that uh, that writer from Resident Evil 3, Dario Rosso. Being moldable is very, very useful for acting. And hypnosis. This will be my best work ever! Sometimes you just gotta put your nose to the paint stone. The water mill stopped functioning after Malkmans clogged the wind tunnels. There's no more water in the well. I really want to take a bath. Will you go in the mines and help? Oh, Malkman business is so annoying. I just want to go back to work. Why is everyone angry at Malkman? I don't get it. Okay, I was here already. What's down here? The mines? Oh, this is a, a operate. Okay. Since the elder went in and the elevator has... Oh, yeah, elevator. Since the elder went in and the elevator hasn't returned, I suppose one could... We'll have to just jump in. Oh, the irony. What's the matter? I need my tools to fix this busted door, but they're in the back room and I can't get through. The lever on the other side seems to work fine, though. If only there's another way to enter. I'll try to find another entrance. Why, thank you! I can't sleep since Malkman took over the mines. I fear his minions might attack the town at any moment. Okay, that didn't work. Ah, I see. I'm assuming that main door is the mines. Alright, that will signpost it pretty clearly. Teal, teal Amber Ore. Shiny Pearl. Hey, good job, kid! Were my chest okay? Uh, what chest? <laughs> Just kidding. It's the least I can offer as payment. Thanks for the help! Yeah, that was awkward. Are you really Solstice Warriors? That's so cool! Mom says we can't go out. 
but it's boring in here and there's nothing to do. I can't let my kids go outside with everything that's going on. It's too dangerous. Heading out. Have a look at my equipment and food. Okay, finally something that's not like training wheels. Minor smock. Ensures double hits on regular attacks. Chance of, auto of automatically timing blocks. Negates enemy defense while casting. Decreases damage taken. I don't plan to use the stuff that makes things straight up easier, but... No more training, sir. Thank you, thank you. I forgot to sell the swag I had, but it's not anything else I want to buy right now. Wait, this is the... Everyone was running around just a moment ago. Grown ups are weird. When I grow up, I want to work in the ground like my parents. Well, they said jump off the elevator, I guess. Be careful in the mines. Apparently, someone spotted a monstrous salamander. Oh. Actually, we do want to use the N. I hadn't realized that. That's not the N. I had not been in here. What is this? Something that I can't use. So I'll need to come back here. I'm assuming I'll get some power or something. It's green just like those big stones that have been obstructing certain places. Yeah, that's not the, the jumping I needed. Welcome to the Sleepy Mason. Would you like to rest in one of our geothermal rooms? Here you go. Oh, I didn't even have to pay for it. Oh, that's cool. Just like uh, what I was thinking of. Although, oh, right, right, because uh, like you actually spend a night in a place. I was like, why am I just standing there? Fighting evil wizard was totally on my bucket list. I didn't think we'd go around trying to save a small town, but here we are. It's literally the thing I asked for. Like, I, I get to cook in a room. It's, it's nice. Uh, I, I, uh, it's like going to a con. Oh, I can't cook anything. I don't have enough ingredients. The campfire feels cozy and warm. Let's sleep. Might as well save. Sorry, not Malk Mud. Malco Mud. God damn, Dyslexia. Malco Mud. Hmm. 
Security rules reminder. No jumping down. Are you the elder? I I am. And you are? Solstice Warriors, we're here to confront Malcolmud. My, how wonderful! What can you tell us about the situation? Not much, I'm afraid. I'm simply trying to get away from the noise with all this panic when everyone started cheering as if I was going in to fix the problem. So now I'm stuck here, equally afraid to venture forth as I am to return to my people without a solution. Don't sweat it, Elder. We got you. I certainly hope so. Be careful in there. Malcolm Mud is one mighty wizard. Wind tunnel mines. Wind tunnel. Miner's break room. Oh. Hey there, need something for the road? Oh, I can't carry any more food. That's why I couldn't make any. Okay. Okay, here are monsters. Alright, here we go. It's like a fire wrestling gun. Moonerang, go! Oh, you're vulnerable. There we go. really nice and satisfying to see all these things click into play so well. Picnic basket? Was this a Mori? I'm realizing that uh, my whole party is individually like giving off a sort of light. Green leaf. I wonder what that does. Matt's HP plus 15? Garl. Nice way to avoid those enemies for a little bit. Found dairy. Okay, I just went around though. Oh. This room is interesting. 
there's this scratch in the floor. I certainly can't make the jump. Maybe there's a lever or something that'll change that? Oh, auto-saving. Yeah! A lag bite. Oh, okay. Damn, I won't be able to stop the other one, but I did bring down its power at least. Heal. Teal drop. Here you go! It's always good to have a friend with a snack nearby. So it's teal that they're dropping on my head. This will kill it. Using it against one enemy is very useful. I definitely feel my fluid sense of self and my headspace and how it affects my body and phantom sense definitely feels good. Oh, that was one of the... Oh, I... I, I all right. Well, I unblocked something. Oh, you brought power back again. I suppose I'll keep going then. The mines continue below. Please stop, Malcolmud. All righty. Uh. 
Oh, can't push it? I cannot push it. I have not the strength. Let's see if there's been power given anything else. I took the high road before, so I didn't even notice those. That ain't got booty. Summon? Ah, shit. Finish it. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing else I can do in this part. I'll need to return here after I gain some Castlevania S power. I can't jump down from there, even. No jumping down. Oh, he did say further down. So I basically can't leave until I fix this. Time to get Mooney. Total end of vibes. Looking, just looking for my pal Mooney.
Why can't I go down here? That's weird, right? Must be something to that. Oh, hello. It's because Garl is heavier than us that that even uh, happened. But I can't go back. That's that's really cool. Wow. I like how it feels real. Like the world's actually reacting to my movements. Or well, all of our movements. And thematically, it's also just like a moment where it's like, well, if Garl wasn't here, that wouldn't have happened. And I mean, I don't know. There's all sorts of ways to look at it. Uh, I'm being teased by this entire dungeon right now. Fucking Christ. Morning, Sonny. Sleep well? Campfire feels cozy. I really should be using more food, considering I have like mats inventory right now. But I like using my my like non-consumable healing. That's a big ass chest. Mistral bracelet. Burst of wind that can push blocks. Well, I don't think I have to equip it either. Is it like a key item? Yep. Avatar. Uh oh, enemy. What was that noise? Um, something's coming! Hey, mini boss. I love how they put this encounter here because that makes sense to be the first block that I push. I mean, it's how I get out of here, but also it's just like, damn, damn. Do you hear this music? It's awesome! Okay, that's actually clever. I gotta use uh, floating mana to do this. And I canceled your attack because I was able to hit for uh, Blunt and for Moon. It feels like a Pokemon theme. Yeah, hit it with all my strength. All right, I'm learning the timing of that one. Yo, girl can lift. All right, boy. Cast all the flame man that can be out at once. Gosh. It's really nice to be paying attention to the animations as well. Not just because, like, oh, I like the animations, but also because, like, I need to to be able to block effectively. I was saving up for combo, but I guess I'm just too good. 
I doubt that's the last we'll see of that one. Let's be on our guard. Yeah, now I'm getting those cross code vibes. I wonder when else this will come in handy. I mean, after this dungeon. Will there always be these blocks? Will they look some other way? Mines key! I remember there was a place I could insert that. I still can't get back that way. Let's begin. Oh, you got a little resistance to light there. Nice getting distance. I love indie shit. I can't believe I'm playing this. It's funny to like think hypothetically about how a game will play or whatever. And then actually have your hands on it. And it's just here, and you get to have it. Slice. Slept okay. Make sure you have breakfast, too. Not that I'm telling it what to do or anything. Cabbage patch. Cabbage patch, bitch. Whoa, boy. I really don't know what to prioritize. Hopefully I'll be able to do enough Moonerangs. Ugh, I wasn't. There's a lot to need to bounce it off of. Hello. Oh, you did a summon? Oh, fuck. That is no bueno.
Alright. That's... Good. I'm still having a hard time getting all the blocks. I wonder how many enemies can be on screen at once. Not stop you. Is there anything I can kill? You. Gotta focus on what I can do. Locked, but still died. I'm in rough shape. Fuck. I saw reduce your power a little bit. I gotta focus on the ones that can't respawn. Ah! Oh, at least I didn't die. Uh oh, she's dead. This one's so well. So fucking well. Ow. I kill you! Oh, no I don't! No I do not! I think I'm about to get a game over now. Damn. Well. That happened. Wow. Tore me the fuck up. Hey, fish. Didn't notice you there as I was passed out. Oh. Oh, I lost uh, some progress. Uh, good morning. Ooh. Well, it's like right before I got the item, so. Could be worse. Start with Garl. 
gonna use that power to cut that shit out. Okay, it always makes that sound when he picks something up. So that's not me hitting it uh, correctly. Good to know. One, two, three. Good, good, good. They'll probably say like vulnerable or something. When I do a uh, throw correctly. Oh. He's the last one needs to go. <sighs> Photosynthesis. That's fine. Salamander. Oh! Well then! That was certainly not something I uh, expected. Wow, killed the boss even more dramatically this time. Ah uh, yes, need to refuel my piss. Flashbacks to Catherine. I tried Mochi yesterday. It was really good. Mmm. Mochi's the bomb. We really like uh, ice cream mochi in particular. What flavor did you have? Mmm. Damn. I just want. But mochi doesn't have to be ice cream. It's just how we commonly have mochi. Oh, ha 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 ha. Been there, done that. Gotta go ham. off to a decent start. Okay, I won't be able to slow down the... Uh the main one. The one blocking the airway.
Solstice Strike! Love doing that. Well, at least you didn't summon. Ah! Gotta nourish the homies. Exact damage. Kingdom Hearts is light. Ah, I got it. And you do and you uh you throw them farther. Damn, out twice in one fight. And then there was one. Oh, combos at max. Let's do it! Solar Rain! Yeah! Murder! Ah, uh, cream mochi. Uh, cacao mochi. Also got a one piece, uh, ga gacha, gacha pond. It was a cheaper theme one with a uh, Dr. Herlux flag and a blue transponder snail. Oh, that sounds neat. Just shuffling through the airwaves. I think I missed a chest now. Uh, back at the bottom. I had skipped the enemy. I had skipped the enemies to go straight to the harder encounter first, so I'd be in better shape starting it out. This encounter won't be nearly as hard, though. Oh, teed him up to both get hit. That was actually really clever. That's like one of everything. Oh. Well, I guess sometimes you can just do murder. Come at me. Ow. I got came at 
gross. Ah, full heal. And Garl for the win. Nice. Bat got popcorn. And Vincent and my friends helped me feel safer and better. Sorry to hear you're struggling. I'm glad you had some support. Whoa. Oh, hey, bun. Heck. I feel like that's a. I feel like that's a. That's a. That's a moment. Hi! Uh, welcome, Raiders. I am. <sighs> by your entertainment system. I'm part of a plural system that streams. We're all furries and we all have our own personas. Some of us have PNG tubers, some of us have uh, full on VTuber models. I'm Duskbite, I use he and they pronouns, and right now I'm playing Sea of Stars, which is a turn based JRPG that is trying to harken back to games like Chrono Trigger and apparently Super Mario RPG. Um, it just came out on the 29th of August and we've been waiting for it for like three years because uh, we had uh, given to the Kickstarter campaign. Well, technically the post Kickstarter campaign because there's a thing called Backer Kit that sometimes lets you uh, back a project after the fact. It's kind of cool. There's a 18 plus stream. We talk about sometimes uh, triggering topics here. We don't call this technically a safe space. We say as safe as space as we can make it because we do talk about mental health stuff. We do talk about political stuff here. Um, we like to think it makes people feel welcome and safe to be able to be in an environment where uh, it's not taboo to talk about mental health or what's happening in the world or, you know, that sort of thing. Trans rights, human rights, Black Lives Matter, kill capitalism, save trees, <laughs> that shit. <laughs> uh, can I get a shout out for for Sussy Banui, please? And what were you up to? Happy Swords Day. It's I guess it's Dual Swords Day now because uh, it started on Saturday and now it's Sunday. But I still want to play the game. I, I went to sleep on stream, and now I guess I'm probably donating a lot of my Sunday to playing this. I mean, it's an RPG, how could I not? I've only played like two hours of it before yesterday, and that was really just a tutorial. And even what I played uh, earlier last night still was technically the tutorial. Uh, I don't say that in a bad way, but like, meta-textually, or not even meta-textually, I just say ludonarratively, um, my characters still hadn't finished their training until, like, the end of my last play session. So now I feel like I'm in the game proper. Um, it's really, really good. It's, this game is about two, two Solstice Warriors, or previously Solstice Warriors in training, who were raised pretty much their entire lives to... Uh, put their life on the line to save people from monsters, but not in a normal like warriors uh, or adventurers guild sort of way like oh this ancient sect of mystical warriors that try to make sure that balance is restored to the world and people aren't just uh, devoured by like these huge uh, What do you call it like? Actually, I haven't seen them yet, but I have reason to believe that they're like reality bending or Lovecraftian in some way type monsters. And we're on our way to fight one uh, in the overarching plot. The, uh, anytime there's a like an eclipse, these monsters are vulnerable to Solstice Warriors' uh, magical abilities. Otherwise, they're invulnerable to everything, apparently. Um, but you'll notice. There's three party members. Apparently, when Solstice Warriors are like trained, they're trained in pairs. One for uh, the light element, and one for yeah, one for the light element, one for the moon element. Um, there's a lot of different mechanics and theming around the pairs, like 
duality and whatnot, and they're both considered main characters. Our third character is also a main character, but not a chosen one, who's been a friend with the first two since they were kids, but when they started their training, they couldn't see him anymore, and they thought they were going to have to go on this journey alone, but he actually was training in secret in the 10 years that they were in the monastery to learn how he could fight and fend for himself. And he became a warrior cook because he loves food, and that's actually a huge mechanic in the game. So yeah, that's what I'm playing right now. Fuck. I hope that was a good explanation. Started with Smasher Pass with some Jackbox party games, then played an ancient crunchy MMO with the boyfriend. Mmm, ancient crunchy MMO, what's it called? It'd be funny if it was actually called ancient crunchy MMO. I kinda want to play something crunchy. Eat the rich since they don't want us to make a living wage. Mood! Gosh, now I'm thinking of the writer strike too. Ugh. Gosh, I, I'm I'm remembering the like I don't know if it was a press release, but it was publicly said by like the studio execs that were uh trying to bust the unions. This like I guess they're not technically trying to bust the unions in the same way you would normally think. They're still trying to end the strike and not see to the demands. But they're like, oh, we'll just wait till they can't pay their bills and they're homeless and they have no choice but to agree to our terms. And it's just like, holy shit, that's like, that's like Captain Planet villain evil. Like, holy shit. Most people try to have like some amount of, um, what, what, what would you call it? Uh, plausible deniability on their like dastardliness, but not those motherfuckers. Fucking Christ. But yeah, good morning. Uh, I was playing this for like an hour or two last night, then went to took a break, went to sleep on stream, woke up and was playing it now. Um, also, we were playing, uh, what's it called? Armored Core Sits. One of my headmates was playing Armored Core Sits because she's a mech pilot in our heart and our soul. Mabinogi? Ah, the first game we ever saw you play. Nice. Hey, Nekua. Nice to meet you. I got a little lost talking to chat for a second. I was like, what am I doing? Oh, I heard of that. It's horrible. Yeah, right? I, I was... I mean, I really shouldn't have been surprised, but, you know, sometimes you have, like, a tad bit of, like... I guess it's not even faith in humanity, but expectation of, like, just not twirling a mustache, I guess. Captain Planet has become realistic nowadays, sadly. Oh, yeah. Couldn't put pollution down to zero. Probably got bought out, honestly. Mabinogi Knuckle Tats! <laughs> that Mabinogi life. Three for one special. So I don't know if there's anyone uh, here who are like big um, turn-based RPG fans, but this is kind of like part of a kick that my system is collectively on and I am like individually on, where this is a year where we're trying to play more JRPGs than, uh, than we ever have before. And also uh, play ones that are like classics in the genre that we never uh, took the chance or time out to play. Uh, in terms of the classic ones, we still haven't played a lot, but considering a lot of games, especially recently, have been aping Chrono Trigger, we thought it would be good to play stuff that is reminiscent of Chrono Trigger. And I only played Chrono Trigger for the first time this year, so it's like fresh in my head. Wait, why are you glowing? I think that was just the light. Gosh, the lighting effects in this game are a lot. <laughs> 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 
and dead. Corporations are fucking evil. They are literally heartless. You are not wrong. Let's go with... Mana Point. Mana Point. And for Garl... I would like Magical Defense, but it's okay. I'm really trying to get Garl to have 100 HP. I cannot think of a Mori when I see these fucking baskets. Oh shit. I jumped down to an area that- Oh! I didn't even notice I could see them through the fucking, uh... Quartz. That's amazing. That's some fucking attention to detail. Oh, hydrate? Thank you. I keep trying to get to a section where I can walk and drink at the same time. And it'll just like, oops, interactable section, oops, interactable section, oops, interactable session. So with the different images that pop up nets to some of the enemies before they attack, if I hit them with those elements, I can reduce the strength of their nets attack, and if I can hit them enough times corresponding to the markers, then I will cancel their nets attack altogether. Mushroom Soup! Lifesaver. One, two, three, go! Alright, I'm doing a pretty good time. I'm having a pretty good time clearing the way. Power up! Nice. Alright. You're not gonna total party wipe me. This game feels simple in a way, but like, I'm thinking about all the mechanics that like people who <laughs> are just now coming in uh, don't like know are happening. Like there's timed hits, time blocks, so if I press a button at the right time I can do a second attack on my basic attacks, uh, or a, pow a powered up uh, action based on whatever magic I'm using, uh, or just block. Like, I actually get more uh, value to my heals if I press the heal at the right time. Or I should say, press the heal at the right time. Um, press the action button at the at the at just the right time in the animation. So this game actually pressures you to memorize uh, enemy, enemy and friendly attacks and when is exactly the window to block or uh, do extra damage. Okay, let's do some cooking. Yeah, that shit looks good. I wish there was a description of what the food actually was. But then that'd be like Catherine level detail. I 
I love the time I had yesterday as it distracted me from my trauma anniversary. Oh gosh, I'm glad that uh, we were able to offer that little bit of distraction. It's always good to like have something like that or be with someone that you care about that can make you feel better, you know? We know how it is. Oh, I made enough food to fill up my pack so I can't buy any. And I don't need anything else. Okay, I still can't turn on the elevator, but I can get to this floor manually because there's a ladder. You're very welcome. I really enjoy streaming and I'm glad that uh, it does something for others. Love me some puzzles. Oh, perfect. Whenever we we decide to make a game, it's gonna be really interesting trying to make puzzles. Cause it's gonna be like, am I stupid? <laughs> Logic do be hard though. I can get the other one over here, can't I? Nope. Well, at least that means the solution is, uh... Less tricky than I thought. There's only a certain number of thingies. Good morning, Bill. How are you? The ramen place I went to is Yume Ramen. I don't think I've ever been there. Uh, where have we been to? There's like this, uh, famous sushi and noodle place, uh, especially on the west coast. I'm trying to remember what they were called. They have like kind of a volcano motif. We've been to a couple of places. A few authentic places and a few like jazzed up places. Like the place I'm thinking of. It almost feels like the Outback Steakhouse of Ramen. I need it in this corner. I can't shoot these diagonally. Okay, so if I need it in this corner, it can only come from this direction. And this direction doesn't make sense because that's where I need to go. Okay, so if I follow here, if I need it, I need it just a little bit further up, I guess? Yep, there we go. Sometimes, uh, tracing your work helps. But not like tracing art, that's different. <laughs> that should only be used as a learning tool. You broke into my fort! Are you Malcolmud? Why did you hurt my pet? It's not fair! Rocky can't know that you're just playing if I'm not there with her! What is going on? Playing? You're terrorizing the town! It's just to play, but no one else is strong enough! No one ever understands! 
Did no one teach you about your powers? Magic is not a toy, Malcolmud. So you come to berate me too? I got nothing to tell you. You are Rocky. Get out of my fort. Oh wow. Yeah, sometimes you need to be more fucking responsible. Fucking Christ. Hmm. Okay, I'm not stopping Malcolmud. But Rocky. Rocky, I definitely can. Shovel might. Shovel Knight. It's a reference to Shovel Knight. I love this game. I'll take this! Thanks, bud. No problem! I sure do love roleplay. But, like, in the game. Time to moonering. I love how they're basically a fucking earthbender. Oh, I targeted the wrong one. Salamangler. Let's heal. Why why a rocky move? I guess I'll sort in the way. I guess Rocky is just being polite. Oh! Okay. Oh, second phase. Oh, and the music changed too. Why, when you said that, immediately banging from Skrillex popped in my head? Bang a rang, uh. Geo brass. Okay. Apple a day keeps the doctor away, I suppose. Oh. That was pretty sick, I can't lie. Solstice strike. Mm. 
still didn't get that timing right. Uh, no matter how far we get in the gaming uh, landscape, Pong will always be <laughs> important. <laughs> Wait, I can hurl this big motherfucker still? There you go. Finally got the block. I swear it looked like they were gonna go for a, a second attack. So it's a strike! It is nice that unlike Chrono Trigger, this game is, uh, or I should say, this game, unlike Chrono Trigger, doesn't use ATB, so when I look at chat, I don't have to worry that I'm about to fucking die. Oh, that's useful. And full MP. Regeneration. Makes coffee. Aww. Make sure you make coffee for the whole class. Okay, I can stop this. I can stop this. I can stop this. I don't need that. Okay, all I need to do is hit it three times. I just need to bounce it three times. One. Two, three. Now everything else is extra. So it's a strike! This bitch got a lot of HP. I think the food, uh, the food mechanic actually reduces the, um, the anxiety that causes the elixir problem. Cause if I use up all the items in my, um, in my backpack, I don't really have a problem with that. Yo, Garl for the win! 800 experience points. Solid, solid. Maybe you should temper your expectations. Maybe make one friend today. <laughs> uh, don't want to wear yourself out. A cinnamon roll, a cinnamon roll feminine wallet? Sounds tasty. You are very strong. The people berate you too when you were kids. Is that why you left your village? Listen, Makamud, you just happen to be born with special powers, and it's a shame no one else was gonna guide you through that. Guide me? Everyone just makes fun of me because I'm not the same. They say, Malcolm Mine can't dig. Well, have you given it a try? It's too boring. I cannot do it like everyone else. Everyone likes it, but not me. Everything was made only for others. And when I try to try, they say, Malcolm Mud is not good, so I give up. And then they say, Malcolm Mud is lazy. I really try, but I can't. I don't understand. So I make a fort and show them. Oh, It's okay, Malcolmud. You don't have to be like everyone else. Garl is right. Normal doesn't have to be your thing. You do you. Uh, uh, um. You're pretty good with earth magic, aren't you? Yes, I love doing magic with earth and rocks. 
If everyone says I must not do it. They just don't understand yet. I'm sure you could really help them if you wanted. Don't you want to try and do good instead? I only make fun because I'm bad with digging. Nah, they just need to see what you can really do. I don't want to show. It's okay, buddy. Take all the time you need. I can stay in the fort? Well, it's yours, isn't it? Right, guys? Totally. Yeah, Pusher Fort is pretty cool. I like you. Well then, can you do us a favor and agree to stop creating monsters? <laughs> Rocky is not a monster. Of course not, look at her. You understand? Okay, maybe I'll do good if something big me my magic. But for now, I'll stay here with Rocky. Thank you. I like you. Take care, Malcolmud. Not bad, girl. <laughs> Sometimes you just need a little positivity. Look at us, restoring peace to a small town. Still no closer to finding a ship, though. Wraith Island. Let's check on the villagers. Surely we can use the lift now. Wow, I'm glad we didn't have to, like, murder anyone. Well, other than all the monsters. And that was really relatable, especially as, like, a queer autistic person. We're just like, oh, hi. Themes. Resonant. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Time is ticking. Is everyone on track with the preparations? We will be ready for the eclipse. Ready. And it's sighted too. I fear the sidekick's hesitance might fester. We should get a final confirmation. I will go myself. Three, make sure everything goes smoothly in my absence. I wonder if three is, uh, is nonverbal. Now my brain is just all over the autism. Aw, who's a good girl? You are, Denny. I'm so proud of you. The Solstice Warriors have returned! Hip hooray! Has a threat been contained? Nakama agreed to stop clogging the wind tunnels. We're safe! Hooray! You should have mentioned your role in this. I... Apologies, brave monk. We struggle indeed to give proper bearings to one of his... talent. Well, you, are a be you all better be more respectful in the future. We might not be here to save you if this happens again. Understood. You have our word and our thanks. Is there anything we can do to repay you? We're looking for a crew of adventurers who may help us sail to another island. Oh, in that case, you'll want to visit the port town of Brisk. Feel free to use the big lift to the south. You're the ones who fits it, after all. The port town. Surely we can find a ship there. It's got all sorts of people. You're bound to find what you're looking for. Oh, I cannot wait. There might even be a tavern. Let's try that lift. Oh, so something about this game's structure that's a little bit different than other RPGs. Um, there are some more um, character slots, but the game has basically been advertised as mostly just about these three. Uh, the cargo slot are, like, party members that aren't combatants. Oh. It's a more focused party. Which we've noticed in recent years becoming, well, actually not even just in recent years. Wow, this. Um, one of our favorite turn-based RPGs, Bravely Default, also has four primary protagonists that never switch out. And of course, Final Fantasy XV is famous for it being a road trip of four guy friends. 
this is kind of like it makes us feel like a uh, we're playing some offshoot of Avatar: The Last Airbender or something. Especially with the whole balance thing, except instead of one uh, one protagonist is like a chosen one, we have two, which I think is kind of cool. Thank you again for helping with Malcolmud. I promise we'll do better from now on. If you want to go to Brisk, you can use the big flying lift south of the village. I think it's funny, uh, like the embarrassment. They didn't even uh, try to like defend themselves uh, in the village's behavior. It's just like, yeah, yeah, it was awkward. I like how a big theme of this game is that, like, especially when you're a kid, uh, sometimes adults tell you things that you'll automatically believe because you have no reason not to. And also, like, you can't resist their will because you're a kid. But even when you're a kid, they can be wrong. I really appreciate that. Oh, right, the well. Okay, now you have clean drinking water again. That was gonna be awkward if you didn't. Must had to be milk. Gosh, fucking dork. Mega hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Unfortunately, this is my last uh, disposable diaper, so when uh, I have to when I have to change, I'm gonna be really upset. Hey, you did it! Thanks. I really needed that. Here for your troubles. One rainbow conch. I wonder if it's like a chrono trigger, and the rainbow conches are literally for high for crafting high level uh, equipment. Let's rest in the geothermal room. All right. Oh, you found a new artifact. Let's see here. Oh, thanks for the head pads. New story. The Great Summoning. But it's the beginning of the month, so we ordered more. But we probably won't get it till Monday or something. But we'll be good after that. We've had to like go on the cheaper side uh, for like the last two months. We've been pinching pennies to a certain degree. Um, but this month, uh, like there was a there was a sale and things worked out a little bit better. So we'll probably be padded more often this month, which is great for our mental and physical health. It felt great using our powers to help. It's not fair how people have been treating Malcolmud. Let's cook some grub. Mushroom scramble. Gosh, making me think of Breath of the Wild or something. Berry jam. Oh, I have 10 things already. Hey, you wanna hear a story? Let's listen to the great summoning. Few people know today is Kanos Nuku. What few people know today is that Kanos Nuku had already been banished by the time the Great Summoning happened. The channeling had begun months prior, back when the lizard folk still had the upper hand. It was towards the end of the decades long battle after it became clear that the Molokan mages would be the victors. On this night of nights, the air carried early cries of victory across the archipelago. Suddenly, the very sky tore open, and a giant sky serpent emerged to wreak havoc. To this day, historians argue about the origins of the sky serpent. Some say it is a monster of pure evil, stolen from another plane of existence and forced to remain here. Others believe it came from above the clouds, a once friendly creature that had its mind corrupted by dark magic. But regardless of its origins, the sky serpent was set to change the world forever. 
Back in the time of the Aves, the ritual of the elements could have been performed to control the, sea the Sky Serpent's mind. But alas, the Ovates were long gone. Earth magic being their only strength at hand, the Molkin Elementalists devised a plan to contain the threat. By carving intricate wind tunnels straight into Zodstol's mountain, they turned it into a giant musical instrument. Blowing through the mountain, the wind started playing a melody so pure, it forced the Sky Serpent into slumber. The magic was strong, and it was believed that the world will remain safe for generations. Or rather, for as long as the mountain played the melody true. For the greater good, the Molokan gave up on their study of magic and established an outpost atop the mountain. Over generations, they became expert miners, living by a pledge to keep the wind tunnels operational. The brave Molokan have toiled around the clock ever since, protecting the world one pickaxe at a time. Despite centuries of stability, stories say the magic enchantment on the wind tunnels will eventually fade away. One can only hope that the Aves will return before then. The end. Wow. That's terrifying. And that's interesting because this is a tale that, like, has real effect on the world, but isn't something the Solstice Warriors are, like, equipped to tackle. Because they're not, like, the abominations that we're supposed to, uh, like, rid from the world. It It's almost like a magical, natural, uh, like, just an enormous magical phenomenon. Uh, you can actually see the giant uh, serpent coiled around the mountain on the on the uh, world map. Campfire feels cozy and warm. Rest. Gonna go rest. Gonna go rest, Dusky. Have a good swords day. Thank you. You too, Banu, and thanks for the raid. Take care of yourself. Selves. Onwards to brisk. Wow, five hours exactly. Okay, I'm gonna take a short uh, intermission. Um, only like five to ten minutes. So I'm gonna leave the title screen up. So we'll be right back with more fluff bites after this title screen. <laughs>